Well, hello there, and welcome to the Interface Engine how-to videos. My name is Pedro Jimenez, and I will be your instructor in this series. This set of videos will cover the Next Gen Connect, formerly Mirth Connect, integration engine. Tired of dictionary sticky note reminders on your desk? SyncSoft Automated Dictionary Management virtually eliminates the pain and wasted time related with dictionary synchronization in Meditech. For more information, please visit thecisolution.com or email info at thecisolution.com. And now, without further ado, let's get started. In this lesson, we will do an overview of Next Gen Connect transformers and data types. Construct an H072 channel with a transformer using message builder steps. And finally, we will test the channel. But before we begin having fun with transformers, let's do a quick recap. In our last lecture, we covered the basic structure of a channel. Built a pass-through channel with one source and three destination connectors. And finally, did a brief tour of the message made to data logs. In our last lecture, we constructed a pass-through channel which is an interface that consists of source and destination connectors without message filters or transformers. That is, any connector message will go through the channel connectors without any gatekeeping action or changes to any of the messages. What we are attempting to demonstrate in this lecture is the construction of a channel with transformers. So what is a transformer? A transformer is a connector component that can modify a message, change the message format altogether, or it can be used to extract parts of the message for use in by other channels or channel components. So by now you may be wondering, what can it do with a transformer? As an example, with an H07 version 2 message, you can do things like copy and move data fields within the same or between segments, delete or add segments. You can even add segments on the fly using data from other parts of the message. Translate data within the field, such as laboratory result codes, patient types, hospital locations, and physician IDs. Reorder segments to your liking, and much, much more. Transformers can be set up in either a source or a destination connector. A transformer mainly consists of three parts. A component that parses the inbound message. This is called the inbound data type. Transformer steps which are the actions that execute the desired changes to the message. And finally, an outbound data type, which constructs the message in the desired outbound format. But because we will not be reformatting the outbound message, the outbound data type will be discussed in later segments. Now we will open the Myth Administrator, move to the left side of the screen, click on Channels, and select the EPIC ADT channel. I select the Destinations tab. Then again, on the left, I select Edit Transformer. Now I need some form of drag and drop message reference or map. So on the right side of the screen, I select the Message Templates tab and paste a sample message there. This will provide me the map that I need. This is called the Message Tree and it parses the message into selectable parts. I am now going to copy the value in field PV1-41 to field PV1-2. First, I select the destination field PV1-2 and select Map to Message. The Iteration dialog box will now show. Since I do not want to iterate to the message, I click on the No button. Finally, I scroll down to the source field, click on the value which represents field PV1-41, and I drag it to the mapping text box. Please take note that there's a default value text box. This specifies a value should the field value come across as empty. It is optional to use it, however, in this case, we will leave it blank. I'm finished building my copy operation. So I move my mouse to the left side of the screen, hit the Save Changes button, and right below it, select Deploy Channel to deploy my channel. It is now time to test the channel. First, 
I select the Epic ADT channel and click on the Send Message button. This brings up the Message Send window. I paste my ADT sample message into the text box. Uncheck the outbound destinations, leaving the Epic to ADT Lab destination checked, and then press the Process Message button to send the message. To look at the results, I refresh the message logs by clicking on the Search button. When I click on the message, I'm able to examine the contents of the Message tab. The raw version of the connector message is now in view. This is the original view of the message, that is, prior to any changes from the transformer. I see the original values in the PV1-2 and PV1-41 fields. When I click on the encoded option button, I get to see the transformed version of the message. That is, PV1-2 now contains the value copied from PV1-41. Clicking on the Sent option button displays the message content with the remote destination listed. And finally, the Response option button displays the acknowledgement I received from the Destination Endpoints interface. I set up a destination simulation endpoint to make that happen just like in real life. Otherwise, the message would end up queued in the destination component of my channel. So what if you want to move a value instead of just copying it? It's quite simple. Just add a transformer step that erases the contents of the field that contains the original value that you're copying from. The trick? Just leave the mapping field blank. Here's the test message that reflects the move operation. The raw message view shows the original values in the respective fields. This includes fields PV1-2 and PV1-41. But when I switch to the encoded view of the message, I see the complete move operation, which shows the copy of a value to PV1-2 and PV141 blanked out. And that concludes our lesson. For more training videos, please check out the video library at www.thcisolution.com. Here you will find the Meditech Report Designer and more videos in the NextGen Connect Education Series. This is Pedro Jimenez, and again, thank you for watching.